I hope you've seen some of the messages that I've sent to our staff through StaffNet and my personal weekly message, but I want to just send you something a little bit more personal at this very difficult time. I know that many of you are now doing your best to work from home and trying to adapt to the unprecedented changes that we're facing. I do want to thank you all for trying so hard to keep our teaching going with our students and to adapt to different forms of teaching and assessment. While all face-to-face -face teaching and most of our research has now been closed, our student residences remain open with nearly 2,000 students remaining there. That means that a number of our staff are coming in to support them. There are other staff coming in as well, including, for example, security and our biological services facility, amongst others. I'm very grateful to all of you who are coming in to work still at this time. I also want to acknowledge those of you who are either working on the front line of healthcare, and there are quite a number of staff doing that, and the many staff who have volunteered to support those who need help during this time. I can't say for sure how long this will go on for. We hope not too long. We are in very regular contact with senior sources in government and indeed many regulations that were previously in force have been relaxed. A few of our staff are overseas and I want to say a particular hello to you as well and hope that you're doing okay wherever you are. My most important message to you all though is that I hope that you and your families are safe and well and remain so. And in that respect, while most of our research has stopped, we have a significant amount of research that is directly looking at ways of detecting, preventing and treating COVID-19 or coronavirus. Indeed, there are many new trials that will be starting in Manchester in the near future. I'll be in contact with you again soon and I do wish you all the very best. Thank you all so much.